Welcome to Scott Stories episode 5, York to Master. Today is my landmark episode. I've passed lots of people because it's lost over the e ball. Most of it's in New York today. Now in Manchester, coming down on the delay to 11.24 New York to Manchester Airport to the delay This is looking towards the centre Nice in Manchester Very busy today. Let's go down to the Dilly Basin. This is the Will, this is the Willy Master. It's like the one that was in the office that closed. A couple of months this one, I think York's missing the wheel. The wheel? I tell you, it's a long time since the one that York closed, and I think it's York's missing it. It's the first time I've seen the wheel like this for a long time. Close up. Looks like it's not obvious today. I come to Manchester winter, summer and autumn. This is a shop I go to. In the Allen Bookshop. So it's a fun shopping at my shop. The next time I'll come to my shop will be autumn. Just before Christmas. It's a lovely sunny day in Manchester. So fortunately it's sunny, I'm not to Manchester, it's a lovely city, big, very busy. I come here several times a year. Beginning of the year, summer and towards the end of the year. Flags. Back in New York after a good return trip by Transfer Express. It's really busy today because it's been the final day of the E-Ball race meeting. In the Scott Stories episode 5, which was from York to Manchester, we started with walking to the station. Then, we had to go through the ticket barriers because it was the last day of the E-Ball race meeting in York. Then we got the delayed 11.24 train from York to Manchester which went through Garforth, Leeds, Huddersfield and Manchester, Manchester Piccadilly. Then that's a lunch. 
We had to walk along the streets towards the city centre and saw the big wheel, like, like the one that was in York, not so long ago. Then I went to my shop. And then after I'd been to my shop, we walked back to the station and got the train back to York about 15 feet to 7, which went, went through Huddersfield, Leeds and York. York was crowded when I got off the train because people were going home from the races. This series was also my landmark episode. It was my fifth episode. It's just quite incredible that I started doing diaries in mid-July. When I, when I did the Perth Overnighter, and I've already reached five episodes. The next Scott's Diaries is episode six. And coming up, I've got some ideas of where I might go for my next couple of series. Places I might go to in the future. It's Newcastle, Durham, Chesley Chis Street, Leeds, I might go to Huddersfield, Chester, up to Edinburgh, Scarborough, probably Bridlington, and later on in the year, I'll probably go to Hull when the Hull Line reopens, because I didn't work to Selby Bridge at the moment, but sometimes when the Hull Line's open, I like to go and see the ferries, so I might do that. And in the autumn, it's when I go back to Manchester, and this time I'll probably get an early train and do a model the city. So it's episode 6 of Scott's Diaries, so we'll be coming up very, very soon. This is the sponsor on my bag I take on my Scott's Diaries. And from Christmas onwards, it'll change to York people first. At the moment it's the University of York, the Department, the Department of Health Sciences, but my Scott's Diaries episodes after Christmas will be sponsored on the bag by York People First, which is a self-advocate group.